Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, pray you don't fall ill because someone might call you an ambulance. Tonight's movie, The Ambulance. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! <laughs> Just get a cafelia. Yes! Oh, tonight, 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 I want to review a movie that I really enjoy, though it's strange that I do enjoy it, because for a horror movie, it definitely doesn't have, like, all the pieces you would expect from something that I would thoroughly enjoy, but surprise, surprise, sometimes... Life gives you surprises, very enjoyable surprises. Sometimes life gives you crappy surprises, and they suck. But sometimes you get, you know, you get a, you get a happy little good, good one. And tonight's surprise movie is the movie The Ambulance. Yes, The Ambulance. So what is The Ambulance about? Well, my friends, The Ambulance is about a man played by Eric Roberts, and he sees this woman on the street while he is talking with a friend and he is just compelled to talk to her and, and honestly look I completely understand that I have had the the sort of see someone and don't have absolutely no idea who she is uh don't know anything about her but you you see her and she's just got this je ne sais quoi she just has this this uh, magnetic attractiveness and you want to talk to her you want to be over there and and you know you want to make your play and, and stuff like this and so he really tries to make his play and she is just just playing hard to get just not having it i mean i guess nowadays it would be considered harassment and he'd be off in jail in cancel world but in in was this 90s early 2000s i don't know whatever this was it was fine because you know women have had a lot more uh, thick skin back then. <laughs> so, you know, she's, you know, I mean, plus, you know, Eric Roberts, he's kind of a, a, an attractive guy, so she's probably enjoying some of the, some of the attention. Anyways, well, she's a, a diabetic, and she uh, starts to feel faint, and, and, and he's all like, oh, I'm here with you, and, and the, an ambulance comes over. Well, actually, a shady guy says, the target is down, send in the ambulance. And ambulance shows up. It is an old school, old fashioned ambulance, uh, and takes her away. And of course, uh, Eric Roberts' character is just like, okay, well, I want to find her at the hospital. Well, the hospital they said they were taking her to, no, not there. So he goes to another hospital, not there, not there. No one knows where this woman goes. So he decides to report it to the police. The police are just like. <laughs> Whatever, man. It's like she gave you the wrong name or something, you know. But, uh, of course, uh, he is obsessed and he wants to know what happened to her. And he finds out that uh, this this ambulance is a little bit more shady than you would think. And people who uh, get uh, put into that ambulance tend to just disappear. And so it's going to be up to him... And uh, maybe some help with the, from the police and a very wise cracking reporter to figure out what's going on and uh, stop it uh, before, well, you know, they're put in the ambulance and disappear for good. So let's get to those scores, shall we? Violence and gore. I am giving this a one out of one and a half out of five. One and a half out of five. There is a, there is a stab and some blood. And uh, someone gets shot like a couple times. Uh, someone gets uh, hit in the face with a bedpan. There's just some fist fighting and some. It's not a very violent movie. In fact, I mean, like honestly, it's like what, like maybe three or four people die in this movie. I mean, I guess that's, but it's it's not like slash horrific. It's not like horrific. It's not like the reason they're taking these people is so that they can be dissected into little pieces for some insane man's enjoyment. No, no, it's it's actually um, there's there's a reason behind it. It's a bad reason, but still, it's like not like a 
evil sadistic reason it's more of an evil greedy reason it's still evil but yeah it's just yeah it's it's one and a half out of five what do i say anyways moving on to shock value and uh, there are a few shocks in this movie but for the most part it's just not much shock happening um and honestly like not 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 a lot of atmosphere building anyways it it does play pretty standard so one out of five moving on to plot i am going to give this a four out of five because it is an interesting idea an ambulance that picks people up and they go somewhere um the the modus operandi of the big bad makes sense it feels plausible um I, I enjoy the the sort of nobody believing him and his sort of paranoia after after finding out like some of the things about the ambulance uh, that he might end up getting picked up by an ambulance. He ends up in the hospital. Uh, I like the sort of buddy thing that happens with him and uh, the old reporter guy. Uh, James Earl Jones is in this movie, plays the lead detective. He does a great job. I love his character. And so, oh, Stan Lee's in this. Stan Lee's in it. Oh, yeah, by the way, Eric Roberts plays a comic book artist who works for Marvel. So this is a Marvel movie. Sort of. Kind of. Not really. But anyways. <laughs> so so I, I find this story is very intriguing and it is very fun. And it has definitely got humor in the right places. It's, it's got mystery in the right places. Sure, it doesn't do a super great job of creating a, a suspense and tension, but it, it's just such an engrossing, enjoyable watch. And uh, I believe it was directed by Larry Cohen, so that kind of maybe explains part of it. It's quirky, it's strange at times, um, but it's enjoyable. So uh, plot, four out of five. Acting, also giving it a four out of five because, once, like I said, again, James Earl Jones knocks it out of the park. The old, the, the old reporter guy played by Red Buttons, he's hilarious and he's great and his delivery is just dead on. I think the, the person who plays the, the uh, police woman who helps him out, really good. Eric Roberts does a great job as this sort of just He's such a likable guy. He's such a likable, positive guy. And you just want to be his friend. <laughs> you want him to... You you not only want him to make it through this, but you want him to get the girl. And you, you want him to live happily ever after. And you definitely don't want him to be strapped to a gurney and, and di dissected. You know, things like that. I just... Uh, yeah, wonderful. Four out of five. Uh, moving on to uh, nudity and uh, this is a zero out of five is what is if they had some opportunities there were opportunities opportunities to be had my friends but no nope so zero out of five so given that there's not a lot of violence there's not a lot of shocks sure it's got an interesting plot and some good acting and there's no nudity you would think well what the hell is 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 Zan Koku going to give this for his enjoyment factor? Because it doesn't sound like there's all that stuff that he enjoys in this movie. Well, I'm going to give this a four out of five because this is one of those situations where the sum of the parts is greater than the individual parts themselves. Um, they it, it's it's just it's a fun movie. Uh, I loved watching it and I'll watch it again and again because it's just, it's quirky and entertaining and it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a feel good horror movie, like maybe a comfort horror movie where it's, it's, it's safe. It's like a horror movie. You can show your friend or girlfriend or parents that don't like horror movies. You can show them this and they will be like, they'll probably be down with it. They'll be like, okay with it. Cause it's not, horrifying even though the premise and some of the stuff going on is horror it's just it's just an enjoyable movie it's just an enjoyable fun movie four out of five and then moving on to overall impression a three and a half out of five um it's 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 a good movie it's a good movie it's 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 on that edge of greatness not enough to hit that but it is very good very good movie like I said, interesting story, strong acting, and just just fun. 
fun to watch fun to just just be in that world and to see what goes on and also i didn't mention in the action section but the, the guy who plays the main villain uh, funny thing is uh the original cut of this movie uh didn't have him in it and they kind of realized that they needed someone <laughs> behind everything so they they shot like new scenes and things like this and edited him into this movie and i think that was a great idea because he is i mean he he gives a good performance and he's you know he's despicable but you kind of like him because <laughs> of the way he delivers his line and his, his confidence and and his gravitas so you know kudos for for looking at it and realizing it needs something else it needs and you know it's like cooking a meal you, you take a sip and it's you know what it needs a little bit more spice you know bam kick it up a notch things like that oh no am i gonna get sued isn't that like i don't know whatever anyways no one's watching right now anyways no one's watching so yeah who cares i don't know what i don't know what you guys talk about it was three, three and a half out of five. That average is out to a 2.6 out of five, which is not indicative of the quality of the movie because it just, it just didn't need those bonus points. I mean, it probably would have been more spectacular with a lot more violence and gore and other things, but still stands on its own. So there you have it. The Ambulance. What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Disagree with me? Uh, Someone say something? <laughs> Anyone? Excelsior! There you go. You know, so I, so I know. And then we'll just forget about that whole uh, BAM thing, right? Yeah, okay. Anyways, so... Um, so, uh... Thank you again for watching another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And remember to stay scary, Internet. And... Uh, spoilers, so you can just click off the video right now, but it's a little spoilerish for the ambulance, but, okay, so everyone who doesn't care about spoilers, okay. So, um, look, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know from personal experience that that beautiful woman that you're just drawn to, you know, and you, and you have to talk to her, you have to get to know her, you have to try to get a date. She's got a boyfriend. She's got a boyfriend. A hundred percent of the time, she's got a boyfriend. It's it, it's the rule. It's the law of nature. She's got a boyfriend. Just 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 walk on by. Just don't even like. Just don't. Just it's not worth it. Like I don't. You know. Just just walk on by, people. She's got a boyfriend. She always has a boyfriend. Seriously, she's got a boyfriend. Okay, maybe I. Maybe I don't know if she has a boyfriend, but come on, she's like hot, so she's gotta have a boyfriend, right? Maybe she's got a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, <laughs> that's the case. You're really shit out of luck, man. You got all the wrong parts. Anyways, uh, where was I? Ah, okay. Blah!